All right, so I know it's been a little while, but it's time to get back to the stealth camper build in my 2003 GMC Envoy. Sorry guys for the delay. Let's jump into it. Okay now, so I've got the storage situation all sorted out and I've had it for a while, I just never did a follow-up video. That Volkswagen West Folio there is actually mine as well, so I do a lot of my traveling in that, but when I have to go on a long, quick road trip and get somewhere fast, I do use this and I do camp in it. All right, so there is the familiar site, but what you don't see are the upgrades that I've done. Now, I have a lot of space still up along here and that's usually where I put my overnight backpack Pack, 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 back, packing, pack, pack, what, what, what? Back, packing, pack, pack, back, what? No, back, packing, backpack with all my clothes. I don't know what I was trying to say there, guys, but anyways, let's move on from there. This is where I keep a lot of my clothes and I have storage for whatever else I need. I can also pull the seat up still if I need it. But what I do have and what I've changed in here are a few things. Let me just start off with the blanket that I'm using. I'm using a fleece heated blanket that has a like a 10 foot cord that I can either plug in right down here and that has live power all night long or I could run it up to my dash which has live power as well. So that's a cool thing. Another thing that I've changed is I went ahead and I put a hinge or a few hinges on the bed itself. So now what I didn't have before was I had one full thing. Now I can actually bend the bottom part up and look at that, I've got some storage under there. You see a couple tubs, and I now have access to my secret storage as well, which I'll show you the contents of that in just a little bit. But it folds right in half, let me get a little better angle. There you go, look at that, pretty cool. It's actually about three quarters of where it, where it, where it folds, but it gives me access mainly into here, which is what I need. The other things can slide out. All right, some of the interior upgrades are just a few minor things. I did put an LED light on both sides, so I have one uh, over here that can go three levels. It goes low, higher, flashing, and off. I also have what I'm using as a hat rack, but is also a magnet for my phone, so that way when I'm laying down watching TV, I can either watch it there via the magnet, or if I want to lay the other way, I can simply circle around and I have this behind the uh, headrest phone mount thing. So it holds a iPad or phone or whatever, and you can actually extend it out, make it move to hold whatever. So it's actually pretty cool. This was on Amazon, really inexpensive, and it works really, really well. And aside from the fire extinguisher, which is important, I also have a second LED light right over here. It has the same settings. So two LED lights for both sides of the SUV. All right, another thing that I found on Amazon, which I love, and I'm sorry, we're in the middle of the coronavirus uh, lockdown, so I have my, my mask here, and here's uh, my water bottle, but uh, is this little, let me get this out of the way, let me just flip it over, is this mesh thing that goes in between the seats. It's got a pocket here, and it's got another big pocket up here, and it works really well, keeps things from falling forward or back, and as you see, I've got my container uh, strapped to it so it can't slide around so I do have the big one that doesn't fit in the cup holder So I found that this actually holds it really well when I uh, want to get it quick and uh, on my long drives Okay, so as you see it's a very clean space very clean. Uh, it's well organized um, Video one I showed you my cup holders that I have here. I have some like batteries and a couple um, Actually two camping lights in there um, this side, I think I have gloves and a couple other things, but I have all the storage well, well, like, you know, organized. Um, and another cup holder there as well, if you're wondering what that other black thing is. And I'm going to show you underneath in a second, but I want to show you the side as well first. So when you come to the side of the SUV, I've got my, uh, my, you know, front window shield, which I put up as well at night. Um, you know, acts as privacy from the front windshield so people can't look in at you. Um, but I also have, well, here we go. I have a Rambo knife, which is really cool, just in case, you know, never know when someone's gonna attack you or you wanna go hunting or whatever. Um, but I have down here, I have my umbrella and a camping chair and it slides just in and out, fits in there perfectly. So umbrella for emergency. And then you're gonna see these four little fleece, like Walmart blankets. And I'll show you what those are for in just a minute, but they store nicely right there. 
I've never actually shown you guys what I keep in this uh, little pocket underneath. Uh, so I've got a fix a flat along with batteries, some bungee cords, power inverter, some tools, of course my nets in case I need to put anything up on top. I have flashlights, uh, an extra towel in case I need to bathe somewhere, an extra tow hitch thingy, and a, an extra tow ball, which is the smaller size. So yeah, just lots of goodies in this little secret hatch. Okay, and coming back to the uh, storage underneath the bed, I remember I left room. I have one container, which is a little bit smaller. Let's set that up here. And then I have another bigger container, which is a lot of my important stuff right in there. And let me focus on these two just for now. Okay, so in my big storage tub, what I am keeping in there is emergency clothes. So I have shorts, as you can see here. I have an extra t-shirt. That you can see there uh, another t-shirt this is mainly a workout shirt you can see the sleeves are cut off uh, shoes socks beanie um, sweatpants sweater which is actually a hoodie rain jacket and there are my toiletries so everything fits in this nice and cleanly um, and I have extra clothes and socks and underwear actually in there too and I'm not gonna show you my drawers but I have all this extra stuff stored nicely in this tub to keep everything tight, clean, and yeah, I, I'm on the go. I have clothes for emergencies. Okay, and coming back to the small one, this one is also important, but it doesn't need to be as big. So you can see I have these two storage tubs, which normally would take up just extra space there, and they fit nicely under the front part of the bed, which is great. But here we go, inside this storage tub is a lot of my cookware and, and emergency supplies. So here's a can of butane fuel, and I usually have two of these. I only have one in there right now, but there's one can of butane fuel. Here is my little mess kit for cooking, if I need to cook. I'll show you my stove in a second. I have emergency fire starters in case I want to start a campfire um, and find wood. I also have matches just in case. That's in there. And here is my dishes, basically. So plastic fork, spoon, knives. This is a kit I got from Walmart. Uh, the blue bowl is actually a bowl that I just had in, the, in my West Folly, but I don't need it. So those red things are collapsible cups slash bowls. They can, they can take heat. So if you want to make chili or whatever soup in there, you can. And it comes with two plates. So I've got my, my dishware there, my silverware. I have my mess kit for cooking, fire stuff, and I have extra butane fuel for this. The butane fuel is for this. Nicely tucked on the front side is my plastic storage. And this is my, let me open it up, it's gonna be hard one-handed. This is my camping stove. So I have the camping stove, the butane thing goes in here, and yeah, everything stores nicely. And it's all on the go, it's all hidden uh, right underneath that bed. Now, I'm not gonna pull it out, but if you look under there, there is an extra sleeping bag. This one is from Walmart as well. I think it was like $7, but it stores nicely underneath the bed on the front side of the leg as well. And that is in case I need extra warmth at night. I can pull that out and I have the heated blanket, which is right over there. So I have two sources of staying warm at night. Okay, let's go ahead and let's put all of our camping stuff back uh, underneath and store it again. You see that goes in there nicely. And let's just circle it around. I'll keep it there so you can see how quickly and easy everything does store. There's no magic to it. Uh, just tuck it, tuck it under and you're good to go. Let me store this uh, back there. There we go. And now this one can tuck nicely right underneath here. So eh, I can push that one back a little bit more, but you get the idea. There we go. Much better. I was stuck on the uh, the leg over there on the on the other side closest to that wall. So now let me show you what those little blankets are for. Okay, and you can't see them at all really, but if you look closely, I have these S hooks. One in this corner. I have another over there by the uh, door arm. Same side over there by that window by the door arm, and another one back here, right up top. And if you want to see a couple secret ones, over here on this back window in this little hole where the power runs, I have another S-hook there. And you see there is a little, um, what is that, a curtain rod? A little extendable curtain rod? It's like $3 at Walmart, but you can uh, extend it by twisting it. And look at that, right along the back window, and I'll show you why.
Okay, so no joke, I was actually on a road trip to pick up some merchandise for uh, my uh, one of our businesses, and I had to go to SoCal overnight, and I found these at Walmart. They were $2 each, and they're just like little 4 by 6 fleece blankets. I grabbed all of them for privacy. And let me show you this back. You see that little rod right there? Let me show you how that's going to work. All right, so there's a view of the pack window. So I basically just drape it right over the bar. It holds nice and tight and it blocks out most of the light, but also acts as security. You know, one can see in, um, so that's good. If in case like Walmart security's coming knocking on your window, they cannot see inside, so you are safe to go. Um, also acts as, acts as a little bit of warmth. So yeah, not a bad idea, right? I think it was like probably $4 for that solution. And if you're wondering, yes, the bar extends, but it would not stay between the um, like the plastic molding that you see like right here. It just kept wanting to slide off because of the weird angles. So I found those S-hooks and came up with that solution. And it works great. All right, so this will give you a good idea. You can see that the uh, corner is up there on the S-hook on the right. And I'm just using the, the handle hooks on the, in, the, in the car that actually hold the rest of the top line um, there with an S-hook in the corner. Now I just threw this kind of up there just so you can get a sense of what it looks like. But you can see that whole side is now blocked off, making it darker and giving you some privacy as well. I could obviously make that corner a little better, but I just kind of uh, threw it up there for now just to show you how easy and simple and quick this could be. All right, so here is a view from the front seat. So everything is completely blacked out and blocked off privacy from any kind of security that might be coming and looking in the van they can't see or in the SUV in this matter they can't see in and everything is just kind of just hooked up there giving you privacy now yes I could find better you know fleece blankets and I will but the doggy ones are what I had for that moment and they kind of match my bed so I left them for now they don't bother me arf arf whatever sit but this is the view from there now I did say I have four so I have that fourth one back there in the corner. And what that one does, I simply lift up the headrest here, lift them up as high as they can go to about there. And then I lift the other one as well, and I drape it right across that. So that way I get blacked out all the way from, you know, the, the front, the back of the front seats on. So I have my own little private area for those nights when I do need to make a, a camp out and an emergency or, or on a long road trip. So not bad, guys. It's pretty cool looking, pretty easy. Um, simple upgrades that I've done. I don't even know if you want to call them upgrades, but just kind of ideas I put there to make this, the space better. But yeah, guys, here was part two of the uh, Stealth Camper build. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys get some ideas out of it. If you guys have any other ideas for me, please go ahead and leave them in the comments, guys. I would love to, uh, to brainstorm and, and pick up some better ideas than what I've already done.